we've just been walking around the streets of Madrid, um, trying to get to. Yeah, it really is hipster. It's like really, maybe they invented the hipster. I don't know. But it's really cool. There's like seems to be a lot happening. There's lots of cool restaurants, and you know the blues guys who were playing before were really cool. Um, yeah, there's lots of like graffiti art around, and it's just a really lively looking city. This way, um, yeah. Let me finish up. Yeah, it's just a really lively looking city, and Sally is about to go to an art museum. I'm going to try to find something for myself to do because you have to pay for the art museum. Sally doesn't. It's free. For a student, I'm not an official student. A student between 18 and 25. So. You're old. Yeah. And I don't want to pay to see some art because I'm not really that into art. This is about as close as we can get. Found this thingy. Well, we didn't find it. It's been here the whole time. And it's not like we're the first to ever discover it. But we came to this. It's called the Font de Neptune. And it's really cool. That's Neptune on there. Roman God of the Sea. Sally thought it was Poseidon. <laughs> Silly. Same thing. <laughs> That's cool. And we're going over this way towards the gallery and that. So we're not going to the art gallery just yet because apparently the last two hours you get in for free. Yeah, so at 5pm we'll come back. Yeah, and I figure I may as well go go get cultured and see some art. It's one of the most famous art galleries in the world. They have over 7,000 paintings. So I better go see it. So we're back at 5. We're going to check out the Botanical Gardens and this Parkland area first. Mm -hmm. So who's this guy? Velasquez is a really famous Spanish artist and the museum hosts like has most like more of his artworks than any other museum in the world I believe. Cool. I didn't know who he was. I'm gonna learn some stuff at the museum. What was that person you just said? Coronamus Wash. Like the washing machine brand thingy. Oh yeah it is, isn't it? Is that the guy? Yeah. Uh, Same guy? No. Do you invent washing machines? No. Oh. Different guy. I'm pretty sure it's a guy. I'm pretty sure it's a guy's name. I never questioned it. I'm pretty sure it's a guy. It's a famous artist. I don't know. It sounds like a pretty gender neutral name I'm to me. Hieronymus. Like <laughs> Look, I saw art. It's, it's the ladies. It was definitely Picasso, even I knew that. See the lady with the weird boobies? That's weird. Oh. Could be a man with that hair. You know, the fountain's so weird. It's like, from the back, it looks like a naked man wrestling a dolphin that was spitting water out of its mouth. But it looks very like a naked woman wrestling a serpent that's no longer spitting water out of its mouth. I don't get art. Art's confusing. I'm walking through this big park. I don't know what the park was called. No, but I'm sure it's on the screen now. Yeah. I'm just gonna find have a little walk around the park. Just been sitting in the um, park area. Do you remember what the park was called? There's something Retirio. She doesn't know what it's called. And I would just sort of sat in the park in the sun for a little bit and What are you doing? <laughs> shadow on your face. And Sally's being weird. <laughs> She's standing in front of me. Um we're gonna go to the museum at like five and it's nearly four o'clock right now um, and we're both kind of hungry because all we've had is some cup noodles today um, so we're gonna go find somewhere that does tapas I know I keep doing that but it helps me think I need to fidget sorry I fidget a lot when I'm like talking because it's really uncomfortable talking in public and stuff so I do this a lot quiet fidget and she hates it because when she edits things, I'm always jingling something or making noise. So I'm sorry if I make noise, but it helps. Hi. Wait. What a pretty tree that is. Look how cool that building is. It's like covered in plants and moose and that. But on the other side, it's like a regular building. It's been like the best part about Madrid is just walking around. And you just walk into all these cool like lanes and that. And there's just things everywhere. It's um, a really cool city. And down the street, we're gonna go to here. Tinto and Tapas. Don't know what Tinto is, but why is like and. 
They're like the greenest olives I've ever seen. And we've got our little empanadas. Which I learned what they are, they're like pastries. He's drunk. I'm not drunk, I'm After just really... one beer. Now who's the light? I've one? had cup noodles and like one little empanada and that beer just like holy crap this is the line for the free entry to the museum like this isn't even all of it it goes all the way back down I tried to film a little bit of it but I couldn't really get it all and this goes all the way to the front Waited in line for like half an hour. I'm still not there. We're closer. Do I really want to see art this bad? Yes, you already committed. I'm tired now. Need another beer. No. I can see the entrance. <clears throat> We're almost there, see? We made it. We got a little bit of paper saying that we've made it. We made it. So that was exciting because we couldn't film anything in there or oh. take any photos or anything. Even though people were, we weren't supposed to. Yeah, we were polite. Anyway, it was fun. I saw art. We got some postcards. Yeah, I'm sure she'll show you them later. Okay. And... We're going to dinner now. Yeah, we're going to dinner after seeing some awesome art. Um, Where are we going? Korean place. Yeah. Hopefully. Yeah, hopefully. <laughs> We got like a 15 minute walk. Coming. Cool lion statue. I think it's the Congress building. Oh. That's cool. This Spanish is easy. You said all you love them. That's what I keep telling you. So it's like an all you can eat Korean barbecue type thing. You just go up and grab chunks of meat as much as you want, as much as you can eat. Which is going to be a lot. Mm. Well, you can eat kimchi. Mm. So we've been seeing lots of pins and that for this little badge, this little um, statue. And um, I'll move to the side so people can get their photos because I feel like I'm in the way. Anyway, it's like a bear and a strawberry tree, and it's just supposed to be a statue. It's, I think it says like 50 years in Madrid or something. Yeah. On the other so. side, so yeah, it must have something to do with Madrid. It's really cool. It's a coat of arms. Coat of arms, because like we've been seeing the pin for it. I'm like, oh, it's really cool. I've never seen it before. And we just literally just walked out of the shop and we just saw it. So we're in the um, Puerto de Sol, yeah. which I think is like, if I my Spanish is anything, I think it's a place of the sun. Um, obviously it's night time, but I think Puerto, me Puerto means place. Yeah, we just come back from dinner and it's really loud here. Um, yeah, we're just trying to get back to our hostel, but I did realize we're going to be walking through this little spot here. Um, it's really cool in here actually, really busy. It's like a big touristy area. Yeah, big touristy area and there's lots of um, statues that I'm going to show you. Show you as we go through. There's a cool little fountain, and it's like 10 p.m. on a Sunday night, but it's like bustling. So that's yeah. But I just found Madrid just like really busy in general, like every hour, which is cool. Anyway, I'll show you a few things here. Carlos the Third. Carlos the Third, de Rey España. I don't know who that is. I can't read Spanish, so I can't tell you who it is. That's a really cool statue in the square. And there's a big panda bear over there and there's people break dancing. I feel like I'm back in like high school or something. Okay, these are the postcards that I got from the museum today. I got this one by Goya. I think it's called The Drowning Dog. I don't know who did this one, but I saw it there and I thought it was cool and I really liked it. And the other thing that we went in there for, this is the main thing I wanted to see was the Garden of Earthly Delights by Herb Bon... Ah! By Herb... <laughs> did you say Herbonimus Bosch? <laughs> I forgot his name for a second. And, and this was cool because these bits actually fold. There's like a little crease there, yeah. So it can fold into a card. 
I thought that was so cool. Not that we use it as a card, but as a display piece. Yeah. Garden of Earthly Delights. This painting was so detailed. I loved it. I could just like study it for hours. Look at that. Mm. Very good. What you doing? I'm hand washing some socks. Okay. It's really boring. I hate doing this. Mm. Yeah, that's how we're gonna end that evening. And yeah. You have to do the hand thing for me, okay? Okay. Bye!